Hello everyone, this is Mr. Botros Asad, and today we will talk about number pairs to 100. How can we make 100? Here I have 78. I'm asking how many steps from 78 to reach 100? Or 78 plus what make 100? To answer this question, let's imagine that I have a number line and I start from 78 and I want to land on 100. It is hard to count the steps from 78 to 100 directly, but I can break the number line into pieces like what? Like I will go to the next multiple of 10, which is 80. After 78, the next multiple of 10 is 80. How many steps? I need two steps. Then from 80 to 100 is so easy. I need 20. So in total, I need 20 and two make 22. So 78 plus 22 equal 100. 22 is called the complement of 78 to make 100. I have another example. 54 plus what make 100? The same strategy. I will start from 54. Then I will go to the next multiple of 10, which is 60. How many more steps? I look at the units. 4 plus what make 10? 4 plus 6. So 54 plus 6 make 60. And from 60 to 100. So easy. 6 plus 4 equal 10. So 60 plus 40 equal 100. So I need 40. So the total number of steps from 54 to 100 is 40 plus 6 equal 46. Is there another strategy to find the number bears to 100 without using the number line? Yeah, there is another strategy and it is so easy. I know that 100 can be made by 90 and 10. So if I manage to make 90 and 10, I will make 100. How come? Look at my number here. Here, I have a 20. Two tens means a 20. Can I make the 20 become 90? Yeah. I need 70, which is seven tens. So I made the 90. Now I have to make a 10. I have here one. How many more to make a 10? I need nine. So in total, I need 79 with 21 to make 100. So our strategy here, make 90 and 10. Here in a different way, I'm asking 100 minus 36 equal what? Let's make it using a simple example. If I ask you, for example, 10 minus 2 equal what you will answer easily equal eight how did you know i know be because two and eight make ten so if i take away the two how many left the eight so the answer for this kind of question is find finding the number bears that make a 10 in our example here. Using the same strategy, if you look at this, 
the solution or the answer for this question is finding the number pairs that make a hundred. And I learned that to make a hundred, make 90 and make 10. So 30, I need 60 to make 90. Six, I need four to make 10. So 100 minus 36 equal 64. Let's check our answer. Four plus six equal 10. Six, 60 and 30 make 90. Together make 100. So I can say that to find the answer for this subtraction, find the number pair that make 100. Another example, 100 minus 67 equals what? I know that my answer is the number pair that make 100. So I will look at the units, seven. How many more to make 10? I need three. 60, how many more to make 90? I need 30. So the answer is 33. Let's check my answer. 7 plus 3 equal 10. 6, 60 plus 30 equal 90. Together make 100. So my answer is correct. And this was all for today. Thank you very much.